Hello, today I'm talking to someone I've known for a number of years, David Campbell. Yeah. Many people know him around the area as the person behind the creation of the Strathairn art space. And of course, quite a lot of artists know him as um, for teaching life drawing. David is now working on his own work. It's quite an interesting way that David works. We worked together on the Creef Couches project last year, and that was incredibly different to the way David usually works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, David, would you like to explain a bit about your technique? Um, well, the, the technique's based on a, um, a sort of a technique known as uh, the Venetian technique. Um, which is basically working on um, in very thin layers of paint. Um, so you start off with an impasto layer of paint that's, that's thick, thick paint, and then you um, you work on it. Then you would add a, a translucent layer of paint on top of it, and you can, you can these are known as glazes. Um, with, uh, each paint is going to have. Up, upwards of 40, 40 layers of paint on oh. on each painting, um, all of which takes, um, you know, the paint has to be dry before you apply the next layer. Um, although you can sometimes work wet into wet, which is uh, um, just depending on how, how, the, how the image works. Um, but uh, yeah, it's essentially the work I've been doing at the moment is based on work by uh, the Italian artist Caravaggio <laughs> or Michelangelo or Marisa um, well, Caravaggio. <laughs> I remember uh, at Christmas time we did a pop-up gallery shop, do you remember? Yes. And you brought in a painting that we could easily have pulled off as a Caravaggio found in your attic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm. I was very Christmassy, I thought, a, um, a, a candle-lit carol singer, that's what he looked like to me. Yes, yeah. How long did it take you to finish? Um, well, that one took me about four months. Um, the reason being is I haven't actually done any painting for about eight, eight years now, mm. and um, I had to re relearn. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm still, uh, still going through that process. Which is why I've been working on these um, Caravaggios because it's a good way to learn it, relearn the technique. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, get my hand skills up, up to scratch um, after such a, lo a long period of uh, doing doing very little um, of my own work. So you're not a person that goes splish, splash, splosh? Uh, no, well, although I have done. Um, uh, I've, I did do quite a lot of um, kind of abstract landscapes many many years ago. Yes. How do you choose the subject matter for your Caravaggio type paintings? Um, well, essentially, I was, I was looking for uh, individual figures. I didn't want to do any paintings with multiple figures, and that's too much like hard work. So, yeah, the criteria would be looking for uh, uh, an individual figure. Um, and uh, the thing with Caravaggio, he was particularly interested in play of light against dark. So um, it, it, most of his work appears to have been painted at night, um, right. almost almost by candlelight, um, which actually suits me quite well because it means I can get on and do other things during the daytime and work at night. <laughs> well, I know that during lockdown, you've got your whole family at home with you just now. So it must yep. be hard to find the time. Because I, I know that you make a lot of bread and you're a great cook. So that yeah, well, that'll take up your day. <laughs> yes, there's, there's quite a, a number of things. Chopping wood as well. And <laughs> chopping wood. <laughs> um, and uh, I can see all behind you is all, all these bottles and things. You find a nice quiet space at home as your studio. Well, we've got a new body. Pieces. Ah. A, a, a new body that, um, in olden days, the, the farm workers would, would sleep in here. <laughs> wow. Um, so, um, yeah, that was attached to the house. 
So it just it turned turn into a, a, a wee studio, sort of office space. So you can escape to the yeah. body. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. That's I'll nice. Away. And do you ever actually try to work by candlelight? Uh, no, um, it's a, I use turpentine far too much. I think it might be a oh, bit oh, 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 Yeah, yeah. Boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 And are you trying to get into the gallery market again? Or are you just doing this for your own personal love of art? Um, no, I, I think um, you know, certainly we'd be looking to exhibit again. Um, so it's, uh, the, uh, I think the work still needs a, needs a bit more work on it. <laughs> to get, well, on. you've only spent two months on this one. <laughs> it's got another two months to go. Yeah, well, hopefully I won't take that long. But, uh, <laughs> it, does, it does go backwards and forwards and, and, um, as time goes on. Um, life drawing classes. Yes. Round yes. the corner in Comrie Street. Yes. Yes, that was that was that was quite fun. Every it week. Was. It was. Yeah. And it meant it was one of the few things at the time where artists because these classes were for artists, you met other people, you know, doing yes. doing art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The um, the thing I, I've, I've, I've discovered through doing the lifetime classes was the amount of actual artists that are actually working in this area is incredible. Um, yeah. And, and the, 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 the quality and standard of people is really, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's really amazing. Um, and yeah. some, some, some people really well known in the field as well. I know, yeah. it's incredible. The area is very arty. And mm -hmm. I suppose that would have been um, something that drove you and your partner at the time, Tom Tom Barron, into uh -huh. uh, trying to to get the art space for artists to use. Yes, yes. Well, originally um, we were looking for somewhere to um, a bigger space to, to run the drawing classes, <laughs> um, and. Um, we after as you, you know, most people know the story about getting getting the the old library um was you know we went in there and um it was just it was far too big to be just an artist studio mm -hmm. so that's that's how the whole art space kind of grew out of that um yeah. it's, uh, but we ran classes in it's up in the art room at morrison's academy as well I mean, it's a wonderful thing that you did for the town, getting the art space up and running, and you stuck with it for so long through thick mm. and thin. I remember there was an item in the, the local newspaper, the Strathairn Herald, uh, of with a, a, a not very flattering picture of yourself beside a boiler. Yes. Going, oh, we're freezing here, and it was a yes. call out because the boiler was so old. The people of... of uh... Of grief and, and and surrounding area were incredibly generous. Within, um, we needed to raise I think it was four and a half thousand pounds um, for a new boiler um, and 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 to cover labour. And within two weeks, we, we achieved it. Amazing, amazing. I know yeah. because people really um, appreciated what yes. you were doing there. Mm -hmm. uh, however, you've you've left that now. I know, and I know that that the art space is for really principally now for punters to use whereas you're still trying to find a place for artists to use and yes uh, so that you have yes. some ideas along that line yes yes well we've got we've got some things in the pipeline we're, we're kind of working on mm -hmm. um that could be quite interesting for um creative people in grief and also for um sort of uh, um Encouraging visitors from further afield to come and visit Creef. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have the real potential to um, show that uh, that uh, the creative people in Strathern um, are uh, kind of a, a force to be reckoned with. There are so many artists and and makers. There's lots of craftspeople mm -hmm. around the area as well, yes. and uh, and yet they don't really get recognized that the creef isn't understood as as a very arty town no so it could really be a central point for that then we were very well supported at the christmas pop-up gallery 
Yes, that was that was pretty incredible. I think we had um, uh, 54, 55 different exhibitors. Yes, yes, um, and we sold lots. Yes, yeah, and and I mean, getting that number of people with twenty four hours notice is pretty incredible. We'll, I'll leave everybody with your a picture of your finished Caravaggio, and uh, and we hope that the unfinished boy peeling fruit at some point we'll see that for real finished I think, I think Caravaggio spent a few years doing them so. <laughs> yes okay David okay. thank you bye bye, bye.